Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be discussing how I met Gary Bettman, Tyler Sagan, Jamie Ben, and Ben Bishop at the Winter Classic, and the crazy stories from a crazy day surrounding the Stars vs. Predators game. Now in today's video, I have a lot of things to share. We first got the merch that I got today at the Winter Classic, some of the stories that came from today's Winter Classic, and of course the people and players that I did end up meeting. So for today, how did I meet these players? What even happened today? And what did I think of this crazy Stars vs. Predators brawl at the Cotton Bowl? Watch till the end for my full review, and of course subscribe if you're new. Now, I probably haven't made it obvious enough, but I'm a Dallas Stars fan if you don't know already. I went to the 2018 draft that was hosted by Dallas, had a blast, and it was awesome. And when it came to this 2020 Winter Classic, I was super excited to see what it might have been, especially when it was first revealed. Especially versus a team like Nashville, I thought it was going to be an amazing game and an amazing spectacle, especially in the Cotton Bowl, and that's pretty much what we got. We got an amazing game with 80,000 plus fans in the building, as well as some amazing events and just an overall one of the best winter classics I think we've ever seen. Now, obviously, my Stars bias is showing that saying that it's one of the best, if not the best winter classic. Yes, I know the Stars win, and yes, that made it a whole heck of a lot better, but I don't care. I'm still going to go by it because I think it is the truth. When it comes to pure game entertainment and also just the events and everything that was going on, the Dallas Stars really put up an amazing show that had a lot of Texas flair as well as just some great entertainment to keep people on the TV and also who came to the winter classic super entertained. Honestly, I was super impressed, obviously, with the State Fair being around it, being around the Cotton Bowl. It was easy to have entertainment, but I think the Dallas Stars went the extra mile in merchandise and everything, and just an amazing package that ended up being this 2020 Winter Classic. Now, to get the elephant out of the room, yes, I did meet Gary Bettman, and it was actually one of the first things I did today. It was in the morning, it was at breakfast, and he was at the Omni Hotel in Dallas, and I ended up meeting with him, talking for a little bit, and of course, getting a picture with him. Now, it was already in the thumbnail, but you get a good look right there. Just, just beautiful, just beautiful. I'm taller than him, which uh, I'm taller than everybody, so it's, it don't, don't take that personally, Gary at all. It's fine. We're good. But yeah, this was a interesting experience because first and foremost, I'm a part of the NHL Power Players. It's a youth advisory board to the NHL. There's 12 people or teens throughout the U.S. and I'm one of them. And a few of us got to go to this winter class. They can get some behind the scenes stuff as well. But we were having a little bit of a meeting in that hotel. Gary Bemin and a lot of the NHL people were at that hotel too. And I just ran into him and I said, hey Gary, uh, hi, how's it going? Can I take a picture of you? And he said yes. So that's pretty cool. And of course, for the second elephant in the room, we're now going to go into my story and how I met Jamie Ben, Tyler Sagan, Ben Bishop, all in one fail swoop. Now, I will have a vlog on this whole a great day, which will have a lot of the clips here, but I ended up meeting all of these guys because of the Power Players program, uh, there was a little bit of a press conference that they had after the game, and we were able to meet some of them as well once they were out of that press conference, which was awesome, as they went to their homes, obviously. But you can see in this picture, hopefully it shows up right here. Beautiful, beautiful image. Uh, there's Ben, there's Jimmy Ben right there with me, Ben Bishop, or Ben Bishop, and then Tyler Sagan. Ben Bishop, I realized, was super friggin' tall, like, an absolute madman, like he's six foot seven, right? But he look, he's like, six, he looks six foot seven. I mean, like I'm not, I'm not a small boy, but I look like a small boy right there. Now the vlog will be out probably in the next 48 hours, so look out for that. But I need to show this clip because it is an absolute necessity. It is too good to not share. You knew what he was thinking. You knew what we had to do. That's very Nice to meet you guys. Happy New Year. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Happy New Year. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Now we got one Friday. We'll see you somewhere soon. But honestly, all three of Jimmy Ben, Ben Bishop, and Tyler Sagan were all super accepting and super awesome. Again, to take time out of their days for somebody like me, that is pretty much a nobody. Pretty much. I mean, I have 9.5k 9 subscribers on YouTube, but I'm pretty much that person that is a random to these guys. So, it was awesome. And again, I have the Dallas Stars Winter Classic jersey on. 
I got that jersey signed, which on top of meeting Ben Sagan and Bishop was another highlight on this just highlight of a day. It was just crazy. And I'll show you guys the autographs here. Now, I'm wearing this Winter Classic shirt that we got at the Cotton Bowl, so uh, it's pretty freaking sleek. But I wear, of course, this Winter Classic Tyler Sagan jersey to the event. It was awesome. I wore it the whole time, and it was freaking amazing. Just an absolute beauty. But, sexy. On top of Bishop, Ben, and Sagan being absolute delights, of course, you got the signed jersey here. It was just absolutely insane, and I'm incredibly grateful to the three for doing that. Absolutely amazing. They didn't really need to do that. They were on their way out, but they stopped by for me, and that is amazing. And again, you see the three signatures on the 91, on the 9 specifically on Sagan. I got all three of them because of course, of course you got to. Even though it's Sagan's jersey, of course you got to get all three. This on top is Ben Bishop. You see his signature with the 30 there. You see Tyler Sagan with his 91, and then Jimmy Ben right here with his subtle 14. Honestly, like, I was wearing this jersey on the way home and all that, but... I probably will never wear this jersey again. I don't really have a reason to because I got this beauty and I don't want this to deteriorate. Honestly, I, like, I, I could honestly frame it like right here and it would be uh, it would be amazing. Uh, let me know if you want me to do that because I'm kind of leaning towards it right now. I don't want to even touch this thing and have it go bad. I mean, I probably would have worn it before if the autographs weren't there, but come on, man. So now I'm gonna be extra careful with this right here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it down. Now I have one more thing about the event to really show before uh, the vlog comes out sometime soon. But also when it came to the power players, we were able on the pregame skate, we were able to go around the boards and around the ice uh, for kind of like VIP experience somewhat, and that was freaking awesome. Just going onto the field while like there was a lot of fans, it wasn't everybody there yet because the game was starting in like 20 minutes. It still wasn't the start, but in the pregame war. Warm-ups. We were there. We were next to the Predators on that side. Obviously, I would have loved to be against the Dallas Stars, but I got this picture of me kind of selfing here with Roman Yossi, an absolute beauty in the background. Unfortunately, he had to lose that game, but I'm not complaining. But yeah, I got also some Winter Classic gloves, which are kind of weird because they have the they have the. Uh, the gray on the first three fingers and not the other ones. I, I'm not even sure what's going on there, but they, these were given out to us and they're pretty freaking sweet too. I mean, it was 50 degrees, so I didn't really need them, but you know, I still got them. And on top of the Winter Classic got, uh, shirt that we got, uh, I also got this Winter Classic puck. It's not used, it's just, um, it's just a product puck that you know you could buy off the shelves or something, but that's still pretty, pretty freaking sweet. I'm not sure, honestly, if I have any room for this thing on the setup, but hey, I'll try. I probably will fail, but I'll try. And you know what? I'm just gonna like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put it like right here for right now. I, 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 this is not a good idea. Okay, fine. Uh, can we? Can we please? Okay, there we go. Now I think we're good. Now. I. I I think we're good. All right. Anyways, anyways, that is it for the merchandise at least. But honestly, when it came to this whole day, there was a lot of t things to talk about that will be in the vlog as well. It will be more of a stylized thing. Um, but you guys should look out for that because that is going to be freaking amazing. I got a lot of footage from this stuff as well as pretty much just the clips you saw with Ben Sagan and Bishop. There's a lot of stuff like that in the vlog that's kind of behind the scenes, kind of crazy and kind of insane that I can't wait to show y'all. But this was a fantastic day. Honestly, like the best day of 2020 so far, in my opinion. That's just me though, that's just me. The Stars got a huge win as well, 4-2. The crowd was absolutely fantastic. And Dallas, you know, just casually proving themselves a hockey will market once again. Not like it's been proven time and time again, but hey, we got to prove for the casual crowd and we proved it here today. 85,000 people in the Cotton Bowl, and that sounds pretty nice to me. But I think that'll be it for today. Again, there will be a lot of stuff covered in that vlog, a lot of the footage I show. But that'll be it for the stories that I share in this one and the merch. Uh, yeah, I didn't really get that much, to be honest, besides the shirt and the buck and some of the stuff we got. But 
It was a crazy day. It was 85,000 people in that stadium and it was amazing atmosphere. I've never been really something like that in my entire life. I've never experienced something like that. The lines were insane for a corn dog. It was like to the it was like the full road of the fair. It was insane, but honestly, it's a kind of calming insane in my opinion. It was just a fantastic day. So many great Stars fans, so many great Preds fans. We all came together to cheer for the Dallas Stars because even Preds fans can admit, we have your number. I'm sorry, but it just do be like that. I wish we didn't have to beat you guys because you guys have an awesome team, uh, but sorry. It just has to be that way. But with this video, I need to hear y'all's comments down in those comments down below. So let me know what you think about this crazy winter classic. What were you thinking about it if you're watching this on the TV or if you were there? And of course, the crazy thoughts about everything that's happened. Crazy. I keep saying crazy, but it has been crazy. Let me know all your thoughts on the video and the winter classic down in the comments down below. But if y'all want some more grab videos just like this one, I would suggest you click on this card right here to watch my top 10s slash rankings playlist all in one place for you to enjoy. But that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already, y'all. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts on what you think about this crazy event. Again, crazy events. Share this video with your friends. Get the word out there that I met freaking Gary Bedman. I still don't even know how that happened, but it did. My name is Nathan, and I'll see y'all next video or stream. Goodbye.